The California Prison Industry Authority, or CalPIA, provides programs aimed at helping female offenders become successful when they leave prison. These programs are generating positive results throughout the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. Hundreds of women are taking part, and the job skills they are learning are preparing them for a bright future. Recently, CalPIA launched a computer-aided design, or CAD, program in Folsom, a first of its kind in the nation since it's the only authorized Autodesk training center housed at a state prison. They've given us a full foundation here, starting with the carpentry program, with the hands-on approach, and then coming into CAD and Revit, where we're actually doing the computer design of what we build. We have a full understanding and a full background in this field. Caitlin Churchill is learning how to design products and landscaping. She is looking forward to paroling next year and hopes to have a career in engineering or architectural design. Women are graduating with nationally recognized certifications and finding jobs when they parole. If they have any doubts us being offenders about our knowledge in the program, we have the certifications to back it up. We have the Revit 3D architectural um, certification, the CAD uh, 2D um, architectural certification, and then we're also doing the inventor program right now. So we're doing things like building light fixtures, everything from screws, nuts, and bolts to possibly little refrigerators if we get that advanced. We've had women in our AutoCAD program to leave and go out and work in an architectural engineering firm right when they leave here. Um, we've had people leave our carpentry labor program and get hired within 48 hours. CalPI's career technical education programs have a cumulative recidivism rate of just over 7%. Female offenders can also take part in the pre-apprentice carpentry and or pre-apprentice construction laborers programs now offered at all three female institutions. So we've got uh, numerous examples, especially what everyone can relate to is the brand new Levi Stadium. We've had several of our students go over there and work and pour concrete and labor in carpentry, that, that particular field, and then go on also to the uh, Apple University and actually continue their, their jobs as there as well. Besides the CAD program, pre-apprentice construction labor and carpentry, there is a new program that is being implemented at all institutions this year. That's the Healthcare Facilities Maintenance Program, or HFM. It's a tougher curriculum than the Facilities Maintenance Program, with CalPIA offenders learning how to properly clean medical and dental clinics inside the institutions. Because you're dealing with a lot of biohazards. So you have to be really, very critical on your cleaning. You got to make sure you clean all the surfaces, as well as the baseboards, as well as everything, the bedding and everything. Barbara Elmore is confident this kind of training will help her work at a hospital or business when she paroles next year. Barbara has 10 certifications and is working on her 11th. I hope I can do this on the streets because I like cleaning. So <laughs> hopefully this, this works out for me. These female offenders work at the Cal PIA Dental Lab at Central California Women's Facility. When I walk in that door, I am an employee and I work with the integrity to um, maintain that best product I can um, put out. Another program that is part of Cal PIA providing women with industry comparable wages is the Joint Venture Program. Private sector companies employ offenders inside the institutions. Allwire is an electronics company that has set up shop inside Central California Women's Facility and is part of the joint venture program. It employs approximately 32 offenders. I've learned to be punctual. I've learned that my work and my ethic is very important. I've learned to be reliable and credible. I've learned that um, how I carry myself is very important because the thing about this job, if you don't carry yourself a cut above the wrist, you won't be hired here. Being that I have a child, it's a great opportunity for me to be able to send money home, um, to save money for when I am released. I can have a fresh start, um, a positive entry into society. And last but not least is Cal PIA's Industry Employment Program. This program is vital for the female offender who is about to leave prison. The program provides the needed industry certifications, documents job skills, experience, and work habits for future employers, and connects parolees with employers.
It's about second chances, you know. I know it. I, I can understand them being skittish on doing it, but you have to give people an opportunity to, to show themselves to you and show that they have changed. Cal PIA continues to strive to change lives for the better, providing job skills to female offenders and keeping them busy and productive, ensuring prisons and our communities are safer. The number one product is an offender that never comes back to prison. Cal PIA, quality products, changed lives, a safer California.